Hey guys, it's Matt, welcome to Speed Tutor, and today I'm going to show you how to create this musical note particle system, and it's a cool little effect using multiple sprites in one particle system, and we'll look at different ways to emit, do fading, and lots of little interesting things with your particle effect today. So by default, when you want to start, I want to emit the notes from this sort of radio that we have here. We can right click and choose effects and choose particle system. So I have a particle system like this and doesn't look very good from now on. So I'm just going to call this my musical notes just so I know that my, that's my particle. We want to go to the renderer and we want to set a new particle. And I've created a material which is literally just by right clicking create and you can choose a material and you need to just to make sure that your material is on particles standard unlit this is in the default render pipeline and if not you would need to go to urp or hdrp to have the standard unlit for particles then you want the rendering mode on fade the color mode on additive and you don't need anything in the box or anything in the texture slots because it's just going to be a particle like you see here and fade just allows us to fade our particles if we're using the alpha channel now we can go back to our particles and I'm going to go down and add my musical notes to the actual material slot and you can see I've got absolutely massive squares now. What we also want to do is enable the texture sheet animation. We want to set the drop down and set that to sprites. You can see that it's waiting for some sprites and it wants some other effects. Now what you need to do to make this work is you need a texture atlas with your different sprites on the atlas and to be able to cut these sprites out. I created one canvas in Photoshop with different types of notes that I wanted or whatever sprites that you wanted. You can import your image in, make sure it's a sprite 2D UI and make sure the sprite mode is on multiple. And you can use the sprite editor to cut these out and if you don't have that you can go to window, package manager and you can make sure in Unity registry at the top filter by 2D and install the 2D sprite package. Once you've got that you can press on the sprite editor in the inspector and you can just left click and highlight around each of your sprites and hit apply to be able to do a cutout. You can click on each of them and give them a name if you want to keep things organized. Then once you've got that will be children of the main atlas so you can use these in the particle system. So what we'll do is we'll go on our musical notes particle system. We'll go back down to the texture sheet animation and you can see that I've got slots for sprites. So I can just click the plus and I'm going to add four different slots and I'm just going to add my musical notes in each of these slots. So as of now, you don't actually notice any different. We can keep the time mode on lifetime, keep the graph as it is, but the start frame, we need to make sure that we click the drop down and do random between two constants. And we're going to do between zero and in this case four. It's going to randomly choose one of our sprites that it's going to use. We can keep the cycles or drop them down slightly so it doesn't shift as quick. Keep Make that as low as you want. You can just mess around with that. We'll go up to the emission and make sure around it's a value of around 10. We're going to go to the very top which is just the main attributes for the main parameters for this. So we're going to set the duration to one so the particles don't actually last too long. We'll make sure looping is enabled. We're going to set the start lifetime to choose when the actual particle will die again. I'm going to set that to three. I'm going to set the start speed to 0.5 because they seem to be emitted just a little bit too quickly for me. We're going to set the start size because they're also really massive so I'll set that to 0.05. Then we're going to close that up and go down to the shape so where they're actually going to emit from. So I want to emit them in front of my actual radio that I wanted. So it's going to be a box because my radio is a box. So I'm going to choose the shape to be a box and then it's going to emit from a volume and this is when we can actually change the actual scale. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my rotate tool and just rotate around by holding control to snap to an axis and then you can see that they're starting to emit from the actual box out like I wanted. We can just move this so it is in front of, roughly in front of the object itself. We can now set the scaling of our X, Y and Z. So I already know that I want 0.75 by 0.33 
by 0.04. So then I have a much thinner emission for the box and I can just have this just about, just about over where I want it to be on my effect itself. And I may not have changed the start size to 0.05 in this case, because I didn't want it to be so absolutely ginormous. So now they're emitting from the box at the size that I wanted, but you can see that they're just changing really, really fast and it looks a bit sort of abrupt and I don't really like that. So what I want to do is add a color over lifetime. So if I tick the box and choose color over lifetime, and then I click on the actual gradient that we've got here and we get a pop out. So what we can do is left click just inside this gradient because we're going to set an alpha on either of the ends to make sure that they fade out. So we can just left click on either end and we can adjust these as we want to. Then what I'm going to do is click on the icons on the very ends and set the alpha to zero at the end and then click on the one at the beginning and also set the alpha to zero. So we get a soft fade in when they appear and then a soft fade out towards the end. So then we can go to our texture sprite sheet and make sure that our cycles is down to a lower amount so we don't get them changing when we're actually emitting them. It's only at the very beginning do they choose what they should be and then they will already fade out before the end. And of course you can add other things which is say rotation over lifetime and if we add that they could rotate around and you can choose what angle they should rotate over time. So if I put 10 degrees and you could even do size over lifetime so they maybe grow bigger as they get to the end if you want to add some cool different effects if you need some interaction in your game. So of course you can find this particle on my Patreon. You can find over 115 different scripts and projects on there which you can get hold of if you want to support the channel. So you can also come and chat to me on Discord, check out my great assets on the Unity Asset Store and thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers!